Hello guys, I'm gonna try to form Byzantium as Greece. Heavy emphasis on try by the way. I'm gonna focus on the Dun military factory since the majority of our civilian factories will be getting from uh, our focus tree. And also I will uh, focus this one on producing cast since um, it will carry us in the first four years of this campaign. Also, I need to place the king under house arrest so that I can go down the fascist path. In order to go down the fascist path as Byzantium, we'll, once we reach the Anatolian ref refugee focus, we will have uh, two events pop up, one after another, and we need to pick the first option, which gives fascism support, and once we get to resurrect resurrect the Magali idea uh, we will only invite the allies i.e. France and England which will lead to the focus to get cancelled since no one will attend the conference and the fascists then will finally launch a coup which will allow us to form Byzantium once we have uh, conquered Turkey that is also we won't be paying any of our debts since uh, we can just simply default on them once we are at war. That's why we're gonna go down the left path of our economic fo focus tree. Make sure to pick a sheaf of air force and a sheaf of army for the daily XP gain. Especially the sheaf of uh, air force since we need him to design our new planes. Here are the events I told you about. Make sure to befriend the communist and not crush them for the bonuses that they give you. I'm using these templates for my airplanes for the early part of this run. These are the templates that I'm gonna use this run. Obviously I'm gonna upgrade them as I go on. But these are, these are the units that I'm gonna push with. While I'm gonna use these for uh, guarding the coastline and stuff. And finally, these will be mainly used to hold the front line and not push, that's all. Once you have reached this part of the focus tree right here, you're gonna go and declare war on Turkey next. Get ready, build up at least 5 divisions and hold the front line right here. And keep on encircling them. Turkey will keep on invading you down here, but these divisions should be enough to kill them all.
when the war with Turkey is over, you need now to wait a bit, at least until Germany declares war on Poland, then start justifying on Bulgaria. Because if you start right now, England may guarantee them. I find it always funny that like you have a population that's revolting against you but as soon as you click a decision they are like everyone is happy with you all of a sudden. Once you are at war with Bulgaria avoid reaching the Romanian front because if you do then Romania will start pushing you from there and it's gonna be annoying. And then once Bulgaria caps, make sure to rush the weak points in the Romanian line and at least establish a bridgehead toward Bucharest and keep pushing them from there until they cap. I managed to capitulate Romania before my justification in Yugoslavia expired so that's why I'm gonna go against them next now. Before they pick any guarantees from the allies that is. Our next target is gonna be the UK now, we need to plan the naval invasion of the English coast and move our navy toward there and just hope and pray that we get naval supremacy, that's all. It's like 50% based on luck, so yeah. If you wanna do it in a more certain way, you could use paratroopers since Germany will support you in the air anyways.
that the allies won't be an issue. I'm just gonna clean up the borders a bit. We've done enough, we've reached all the borders that we need to LARP as Byzantium, but if you want you still can go to war with the Axis, but my general advice is to not go to war with them straight up, go to war with Japan and take over China first, at least to have enough uh, industry and stuff. Because in this run I tried to go to war with them instantly and I managed to take capitulate Italy very quickly and almost pushed out Hungary but the Germans beat me in the air war so I couldn't do anything against them since their economy is at least twice my size I and they had three times the amount of planes that I had so I mean like at the end of the day it's the end of the day and uh, there is nothing much that I could do so yeah thanks everyone for watching if you have any general piece of advice on what content I should do or stuff that I should change in how I produce these videos I would be more than happy to listen to you in the comments and all in all have a wonderful day goodbye